Hey guys, so, um, I'm Ian, and for the past about, um, nine months, I've been developing a, uh, fully functional relay computer. So, right now, it's just in the beginning phases, so it can, uh, do basic functions of multiplication, uh, division, subtraction, addition, counting, uh, and it can create or represent negative numbers. Uh, so... Here it is uh, right now, um, but so there's the uh, multiplication portion of the computer, the um, counting in the main memory holder. Uh, so this, the first thing I want to show you is this relay. So this computer is made up of these relays, which are uh, double pull, double throw relays. And so double pull, double. Here's a diagram of a uh, double pull, double throw relay. So it has these two coils. Um, and depending on which coil has electricity running through it, the it'll control which which way this switch is, uh, which terminal this switch is connected to. So if electricity is running through here, it'll switch, the, the switch will connect to here, and it'll control which way the electricity is going. So, uh, these two boxes together are a flip-flop. So a flip-flop is the basic memory holder of the computer, and it holds the uh, ones and zeros that you'll see in uh, computer sequences. So, um, basically, this is basically made up of flip flops. There are a few uh, independent relays, but this flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, here, here, here. Um, so this, my lab work has been very helpful, um, which is because. Um, help me solve all of my problems since I don't really have anything to work off of since I've uh, developed this myself. There isn't really any place I can go to um, find information on how other people have solved the problem. So I kind of have to do all of my own um, testing and break down my ideas. Uh, so I think I'm going to show you guys how a multiplication function. So, the first thing in a multiplication function is to set this menu to multiply the two. Um, and then the first thing you want to set is, for the first number you want to multiply, is in here the uh, MQ register. So, if you want to multiply 9, you this isn't binary, so you want to have the 1 and the 8 on. So, we'll count down to that. So the 1 and the 8 is on, so that's a 9. And then the other number you want to multiply is the, uh, the where you set the other number, what you want to multiply is in the memory register. So you want to multiply in 8 or a 12, so let's do 10. Um, it's an 8 and a 2. And so how this works is, I'll just turn on this timer and I'll start multiplying. So how this works is the MQ register is a countdown timer. And so if we set a 9 in it, um, it'll add the number that's in the memory register, the uh, 10. It'll add 10 to the accumulator 9 times, which is multiplication. And so we can tell when it's done because once this is finished, this light will turn on and it'll cease this sequence. So we can speed this up a little bit. There. Um, finished. Just turn that off. Uh, so now the light's on and the problem is finished. We have, so 9 times 10, that's 90. So a, we have 64 plus a 16, so that's 80, plus 8, which is 88, plus 2, which is 90. And then we can clear that. And then turn off that to allow us to do another problem. And then turn off these, the MQ register. And then reset that. Um, so these are the basic functions I have so far the uh, multiplication, division, 
addition and su subtraction, um, counting, and can also represent the negative numbers. Um, but right now, I'm designing uh, more accumulators. So I can make uh, multiple accumulators um, interact with each other, which will allow the computer to be programmable. I also will, I'll, I'll also have to design a way to um, be able to input a program, but that's a problem for another day. Um, so this is a accumulator I'm designing right now, and uh, having multiple accumulators interact with each other um, is basically how it, all computers program. So, but right now I'm as a uh, test sequence. I'm going to do the Fibonacci sequence as a um, just a basic test run. But so that's what I'm going for uh, right now. So I have a. Um, I think that's about all for now. Uh, in my other videos, I've uh, demonst I've also demonstrated multiplication, and um, I've explained how a few other different functions of the computer work. So if you're looking for more information, you can go there.